Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Fresh Baked. I'm your host, David, and I'm standing out in front of the Star Wars Trading Post. Today is the first uh, soft opening. General opening is going to be on Friday. Uh, today we're having soft openings, so we're going to, have to do one, another one, I think, Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, I got myself a reservation for tonight at 5.30. I'm about ready to head in there and see what's new. This is a big day for downtown Disney. <laughs> we had a big day the other day uh, at, at Carthay Circle and how crowded it was and everything. This is, this is pretty big news as far as downtown Disney goes and Disneyland. This is the coolest thing that's happened in a while, so I can't wait to check this out. I've heard good things. I've heard good things about what's in there. I had low expectations. I I, I'm pretty sure they're going to be met and exceeded. So let's go find out what it's like at the Star Wars Trading Post. All right, guys, we've made it in after a brief wait. And I have to say already first impressions, <laughs> very much impressed with what they've done. This is beyond uh, what I was expecting, to say the least. So we'll guess, you know, take you a brief tour around the interiors. Obviously, they didn't use the whole space. I mean, there was too much space to begin with, so they, they couldn't have used it all, but uh, it's bigger than I was expecting. There's going to be some new stuff in here as well, as far as I understand, so uh, we'll keep an eye out for that. I actually have never been inside this Rainforest Cafe. I've only been inside any, maybe twice, so I don't know what space they had to work with, but this is far greater than anything that I was expecting. Uh, I was expecting something on the level of Studio 17 or Wonderground or something like that, you know, uh, launch bay. First thing I noticed is how effectively they were able to use the, the native interiors from Rainforest and work that into the Star Wars theme. You know, people think of Star Wars, it's all space and, you know, Empire and Galactic Star Cruisers, but a lot of it is very natural. Uh, and so this setting, like on Yavin 4, works perfectly for that. And, they, and they've done a <laughs> fantastic job of uh, using the elements in here. Uh, as you can tell, this is old Rainforest stuff, but, it's, but it works perfectly uh, in a Star Wars gift shop environment. And uh, before we start doing any shopping, looking at the actual merchandise, uh, one of the key things that people were excited about with the uh, opening of the Star Wars uh, trading post here is that the, the, they brought back the Spirit card, the gift card, the Galaxy's Edge themed gift card. And uh, you can buy, now they can't buy them in the stores. They're not available at the desk as far as I know. They're, they've opened up the ESPN zone, the place next door. Uh, you can buy, and that's all, it's, it's for I think for the first couple weeks. Go to the ESPN Zone, uh, and you can buy your Spirit gift card there. You, uh, it's five bucks plus a hundred dollars. You know, you load the card up for a hundred bucks minimum, hundred bucks minimum, and then you can use that. And it spends just like cash anywhere. Disney uh, <laughs> takes gift cards, and with that in mind, I figure I got a hundred bucks to spend here at the Star Wars Trading Post. Let's look around and see what we can find. This, there's some good looking stuff here. I'm looking forward to this. And right off the bat, the stuff that I was looking for, I have been looking for for weeks, is here. This is the new, it's sort of like sportswear almost, uh, hoodies, t-shirts, long sleeves, uh, Mandalorian themed. Uh, I, I, I've been very curious to see how this looks. Here's something that I haven't seen <laughs> since Galaxy's Edge, and that's first order gear. Well, now this is something. This is 
a patty frog skipper. If you're wondering what that is, it's the thing that Jabba is drinking, eating in Return of the Jedi in his palace. He's got one of these in a little caddy next to him. Uh, interesting, it's a, but it's an actual sipper. It's a, it, you know, you drink out of it. I think I would prefer it if it was just, you know, a collectible, not a sipper, because now I know it's going to be kind of cheap. Well, not cheap, but just plastic, whatever. But I would, I would buy this if it were an actual figurine of some kind, I think. But as a sipper, it's kind of cool though, too, now that I think about it. <laughs> I'm tempted. And yes, you can build a lightsaber here. It's really well done. This looks great. Uh, they've got a variety, a wide variety of hilts to choose from. Uh, be warned, though, if you're looking to build one, you have to wait. To, it's like going to a bakery. There's a, a you got to take a number. Lots of Galaxy's Edge merch in here. Lots of stuff you find in the marketplace uh, in all the shops inside Galaxy's Edge. They do not follow the same uh, guidelines, as it were. Um, you're, they're not sticking to canon, timelines, that kind of thing. This is not Galaxy's Edge. This is just a Star Wars trading post that exists outside of the reality of the of the world of Galaxy's Edge, which, you know, thank goodness. Because <laughs> for a while there, I was really into that. I was into that whole thing, but it, it kind of became like a like a uh, just a burden to kind of keep track of that so uh, we're not worried about any of that here you can you can find star wars merchandise regular star wars merchandise here and galaxy's edge merchandise uh both in theme and out like this entire menagerie of of plushes and whatnot that you see here these are all stuff that you would find in the marketplace at galaxy's edge including this wonderful guy that i own already Someday I'll be in the market for a loath cat. Oh, a Rabantha. A whole bunch of stuff you'll find at the uh, Toy Darien shop in the marketplace. I've got a variety of these as well. Thinking about that Maz, that Maz Kanata, that's pretty nice. shirt just might be the coolest thing I've seen in here so far that is very stylish looks great it's you know feminine but still Star Wars well done you know I am in the market for something like a jacket I'm wearing a jacket right now which I love but this is also worth loving I think my goodness that is great would you believe I have just one Star Wars coffee mug in my house this might be number two. By the way, also fantastic music is playing in here the whole time. I mean, vintage, classic, perfect Star Wars music to shop with. Makes you want to buy more Star Wars gear. This is new. Oh my gosh. A Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Black Spire Outpost Spirit Jersey. I've never owned one before. This, I don't know if this is gonna be the one, but it's pretty close. So much stuff I've never seen before. I'm shocked by how much cool stuff that I have never seen before. It, it, I haven't shopped Star Wars gear in a while. I haven't been to the old outpost, you know, the one that was in downtown Disney for a little while. So I am, finding a lot of cool stuff here. Wow. It looks like a quart of oil, but that's actually a coffee mug. It's big. It's very big. Look at that. It's a, it's a Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run ornament. They've got a little, I mean, it's just a tiny little Galaxy's Edge black spire setting there with a falcon on top. Another one. Another coffee mug that, look at that, another one, another little smuggler's run. 
this is just a figurine though, this isn't an ornament. $29.99. Well guys, I could do this all day, literally. <laughs> I've shown you just about as much cool stuff as I could put my eyes on. This is the most fun uh, shopping I've had for Star Wars stuff in a long time. It is now time to make my final decisions, spend my Spira, uh, my $100 of Galaxy's Edge Star Wars swag. I think I'm gonna lean towards Galaxy's Edge stuff if I can help it, but uh, uh, let's, let's make those purchases and we're gonna head out. God, this has been fun. Well, you know, that was, <laughs> That was as close to like a Disney experience as I've had in the last year, in the sense that I didn't want to leave. Uh, you know how you get that feeling when you when you you're afraid to leave sometimes when you go to Disneyland. You don't want to, uh, you know, because once you're gone, you're gone. It's so it's such a uh, an event going that you don't want it to end. It was, you know, it was kind of hard to get in there. It took a while to get in there, and it, you know, who knows how often we're going to be able to get to go in there in the future. It could be very busy, and I didn't want to waste my opportunity. <laughs> I know that's probably ridiculous, but that's how it felt in the moment. That's how it felt. It felt like going to Disneyland. That was fun. That was super fun. I enjoyed that a lot. Uh, as far as purchases go, I wound up getting the uh, Black Spire Outpost coffee mug that we were looking at and the uh, long sleeve tee, the great long sleeve tee of the Mandalorian with Baby Yoda on it, Grogu. And the balance of my 100 bucks on that gift card will be saved for Liz. I was gonna try to find something for her, but I, nothing really shouted at me. She can use it at World of Disney. We'll find something for Liz at World of Disney, maybe this Friday, because we're thinking about coming back to downtown Disney this Friday. Uh, so with that, we're going to end the show. I hope you enjoyed our first look at the Star Wars Trading Post. Had a lot of fun tonight. Uh, I look forward to going in there again, and I hope you guys get a chance to go in there soon. It's pretty cool. It's, it's a pretty cool gift shop, I have to say. I, I'm very impressed. Uh, so with that, we'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Do be sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell. You can follow us on Instagram at underscore Fresh Baked and on Twitter at Fresh Baked Dizzy. That's Fresh with no E. If you enjoy our shows and you want to show your support for our channel, I would ask you to please consider joining our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash Fresh Baked. Otherwise, please be safe out there, everybody. Don't be in a hurry. Be kind to one another. We love you very much. Fresh Baked.